So recently we picked up a 2012 Fit at auction, just a base model automatic, and I've been driving it around. And uh, today on 3 Minute Thursday, I'm going to give you a review of it. Because honestly, this is a car every Honda guy should have. This specific one we picked up had a bent subframe from somebody hitting a curb or something like that. It has 189,000 miles on it. It's actually in incredibly good shape overall for the mileage. Don't mind the bird shit. Somebody parked under a tree with it. But I stole it as my daily for a couple weeks to try out, see how I liked it. And honestly, there's a lot of good stuff about it. It's just so hard to want it because it's so underpowered. The little 117 horsepower L15 that's in, we'll call it sporty to 40. Feels great from about zero to 40, 45 miles an hour. It's actually really great in town, around town, small parking lots, things like that. Super zippy, really responsive. The freeway, that's a whole nother thing. We live in the desert. We got really big distances to travel. I do 80, 85 on the freeway everywhere I go. The car doesn't like to do it. Doesn't like to go over about 70 without having to downshift constantly and keep speed for every little hill. But aside from that, it's the perfect city runabout car. One of my favorite things with the mileage on this car, 190,000 almost on it, is the interior is still in really good shape. It's a little dirty from whoever hit a curb, but there's not a rip or tear in any of the seats in it. Feels reminiscent of flying on a Southwest jet about 10 years ago when you sit on the fabric and you sit on the seats. They're comfortable enough, but the, it obviously lasts 190,000 miles and there's almost no damage on this car in the steering wheel, like every Honda steering wheel. You know, it's got a good enough sound system in it. It has six cup holders in the front seat. Don't know why that's necessary on a four-seater car, but it has six, or five-seater car, but it has six in the front alone. But it's solid and there's tons of cargo space. I put my dogs in here. All I gotta do, I fold up the rear seats and look at that. The rear humps behind the seat. Tons of floor space to put dogs in. Super easy. And then when you need to carry something larger, which I've already done, junkyard trips, Home Depot, home renovations, bottom of the seat fold down. And it's flat with the whole cargo area all the way back. That is such a nice feature. You can fit a ton of stuff in it. I did what? I went to Walmart the other day and got a king size mattress and a 40 inch TV. Fit perfectly fine. Had room to spare, put my groceries in the back seat in front of them too. Let that shit up, dude. Here's why you should own one if you can. If you can find one for cheap enough, they're the perfect like parts runner, grocery getter, whatever. Perfect in parking lots, easy around the city. Whenever I drop my wife off, at, my wife and her friends off to go downtown at night, I take this. I put it in any spot, zip around. Seriously, it's lovely. Just don't make it your daily.